How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocky Gal. It's time to boil some water, pick out the tea, and stare at your tea partner in multiple weird angles because today, we're going to unbox and go over the Fire Emblem Foldland Tea Break and Foldland Tea Collection. They were announced on the 1st of April, so many people, Westerners especially, thought it was a joke. But no, it's real, and it's really neat. It was produced by Lupisha, a tea company based in Japan. They're known for making high quality tea at affordable prices, so looks like we're in for a treat. Here's what the Foldland Tea Break box looks like. It's got an illustration of male Byleth drawn by Suzuki Rika, and man, does it look amazing. Her art style is truly angelic. He's holding a teacup, foreshadowing the contents of his box. And here's the Foldland Tea Collection box. This time we have female Byleth, also drawn by Suzuki Rika. She's holding a bunch of tea leaves. What's the significance, I wonder? Okay, let's start out with the Folin Tea Break set. Inside, you can see that the box is decorated with some items. I believe these are the lost items from three houses. You know, those random items you find and have to figure out who they belong to. Pretty neat detail that three houses fans should notice. Anyway, back to the tea. On the right is a container containing five tea bags of Hresvelg blend. A high-quality blend of leaves procured specifically for House Hresvelg. Its refined flavor brings sheer bliss. Alright, well, this container is really hyping up this tea, so it better taste really freaking good. The lid here says Lupicia, and the back of the container has what I'm guessing are some nutrition facts and directions. Still can't read Japanese, so I have no idea. Underneath this flap is a box containing the teacup and saucer. This cup is a replica of the cup used when having tea time in a bedroom. It's pretty small, but I love the details on it. Over here, you can see the logo of the Church of Saros. Pretty cool. Here's a look at the saucer. Again, really detailed and fun to look at. For the sake of keeping the quality intact, I probably won't drink tea from this cup and saucer too often. All right, let's take a look at the Foldland Tea Collection. You can see here, we've got a bunch of tea bags. I'll lay them all out on the table. All right, here's all 30 tea bags. If you've played Three Houses, you'll definitely recognize some of these names like Albinian Berry Blend and Almiron Pine Needles. Each bag has either a lost item or weapon to match a character with one of their favorite teas. So for instance, you can see the Arid Bar on the Chamomile bag, which shows that Chamomile is one of Dimitri's favorite teas. I guess Dimitri drinks Chamomile for its calming properties, which is also why I drink Chamomile. I'll drink Chamomile with you all day, Dimitri. You can see we have some repeats here, like the Saros tea here. So obviously the tea bags don't actually contain things like Albinian Berry Blend and Almiron Pine Needles. Well, except for some teas like ginger tea, which are real in our world. But if you look at the back of the tea bags, you can see what the actual tea is. So for the Bergamot, which is one of Edelgard's favorite teas, it's actually Earl Grey. I can't say I've ever had Earl Grey before, but I'd definitely try it with you, Edelgard. Chamomile is chamomile, which makes sense. Almiron pine needles is lapsang so shong, which I've never heard of before. And Saros tea is uva highland bop. Yeah, no idea. Definitely very cool, but I'll probably never actually use these tea bags. They're going to stay nice and safe in the box. All right, with all this talk of tea, let's actually drink some tea. Let's open up the Hresvelg blend here since there's five tea bags. Wow, it's pretty airtight, probably to preserve the tea. All right, let's grab one and keep the rest in the container. Here's what the tea bag looks like. Immediately when I opened the bag of tea, the room filled with a fruity smell. Definitely a really nice smell. All right, let's brew some tea. Man, look at that color. It looks really nice. So I didn't actually drink it since I didn't want to risk it having caffeine and keeping me up all night, but my sister said that it tasted what perfume smells like. 
which is to say it smells kind of sweet but also in a chemically perfumey kind of way. She also said it was a little bit bitter too, which you'd probably expect from tea, honestly. Overall, she thought it was a pretty good tea. Overall, a very cool and unique Three Houses tea collection. I personally don't recommend drinking the tea, cause like come on, this is way too cool to drink. I got both sets from Amiya Mi for 4,950 yen each, and with 5,580 yen for fast shipping, the total was about 110 USD. Pretty expensive, but if you're a die-hard Three Houses fan and can wait longer for shipping, I would definitely recommend it. I'm not sure if they're still selling these sets, but if you're thinking about getting them, I would recommend picking them up sooner rather than later. I hope you enjoyed exploring the Foldland Tea Break and Tea Collection with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.